trap your friends, grab their stuff, and land mines that detonate instantly. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. Visit twit.tv slash Amazon, click on the Amazon banner, and shop as usual. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps support Twit. That's twit.tv slash Amazon, and we thank you for your support. Hello, everyone, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. We are on a roll with your emails. This one comes in, Dear Chad, I've always wanted to know what is the most effective trap in Minecraft that can be built in survival mode. This is from Andrew. Now, we covered some great pranks uh, that a little while back that we put into our April 1st episode of OMG Craft. So that is a great place to start. But there are a lot of trap designs out there, so we have more to cover. First, if you're going to make a trap, you have to have an idea of what your trap is supposed to do. Is it just supposed to annoy? Are you supposed to take other people's items? Keep players locked up? Or are you going to kill your players? If you're going to kill your victims, remember, uh, if you're not going to kill your victims, remember that almost any trap can be escaped from with time. Even obsidian can be punched through with your bare hands in four minutes and 10 seconds. But with that said, let's show off a few traps. Yep. So first, this is one of my favorite traps just because it is so simple. It's four doors, a plank, and a pressure plate. And this one's, oh, hello piggy, how's it going? Get out of here. This one is just to annoy. You're not really gonna do anything effective with this trap. All you do is step on the pressure plate. Oops, and it glitched out just a bit. If you step on the pressure plate, you will be trapped inside of these doors. You can't jump because of the plank above you, and the only way to get out is really to start punching these doors. The reason that the doors don't open is because the pressure plate that I'm standing on is creating a redstone signal which keeps the doors closed. So once I step off, the doors will pop open just like this. Let me put down this door. Uh, and uh, then when you're stepping on it, uh, the redstone signal is sent to these doors. Remember that this pressure plate is taking up a block, so it's sending redstone signals over to these uh, doors as well. You can even close the door, step on it, whoop, and it'll stay closed. Now you can also break this top plank right here, give yourself a jump, and <laughs> if you're, if your server single player world is fast enough, the doors will open and you'll be able to get out. Um, now, this also works with these iron doors, and I've placed some obsidian, so if I step here, it's much harder to get out of iron doors. They take a lot longer to break, and as I mentioned, same thing with obsidian. In this scenario, probably the easiest way is to destroy the dirt block below me, which would open it up. This is just to sort of annoy, like I said before. How do you make it? Well, I'll go ahead and make it with some wooden doors, uh, grab some pressure plates and some wood. Go ahead and start with putting your pressure plate down on the ground, then uh, put a door on each edge. Make sure that it's open, just like this. That way that when the redstone current is applied to the door, it will close on your victim. Now to place the block up on top, Here's a little technique. If you hit the, this pressure plate, it will place one almost in midair because it's placing it on top of this block. And that will allow you to kind of jump up and place that. And then it's much easier to destroy this block here. And now your trap is set. When people walk into this, it will close on them and they are trapped. Moving on to the next trap. This one is a little bit less obvious than these guys. I also like to think of these as uh, TARDISes, by the way. I don't know why. Uh, is down here in this mine. The idea is that they would see that diamond, rush towards it, and be trapped by this scenario. What's going on here is that there's a pressure plate on the ground. And uh, let me switch into uh, creative here. Uh, and underneath, there is a little bit of redstone. All you need is two sticky pistons, uh, you need a pressure plate, and you need some redstone. So let me go ahead and grab these. You can do this in survival. You don't need to be in creative like I am now, but uh, you would create a hallway just like this. 
Uh, and in fact, let's go ahead and use this one here because uh, it is uh, a little bit better lit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show what it would look like if you were just starting off. Here's your hallway, just like this. Why can't I place it? Oh, there you go. I was like, oh, that's so confusing. Um, then you're going to dig down uh, two and across one. You can leave this block right here untouched and then dig down two again. Place a piece of redstone underneath this center block. Place a sticky piston down. Move on to the other side and place another sticky piston down. This can be done with normal pistons uh, if you want. You can just raise this up and you don't even need the uh, redstone piece. Uh, then take some smooth stone, which you can get by putting cobblestone in a furnace, and place these down. Then on that middle block, put your pressure plate. What will happen is the pistons will extend. Whoops, uh, you know what? I placed it in the wrong spot. It goes right here, I think. There we go. Uh, the pistons will extend because you're standing on this pressure plate, causing a redstone signal to these pistons. And so if I stand off, they will go down. And the diamond is just there for looks. Now, uh, finally, I want to show off something that I thought was super duper cool. It's right over here. I have it marked by this piece of sand. And let me demonstrate it first. Uh, I had to make sure that I didn't put down the pressure plate because uh, pigs and stuff kept uh, walking on it and it would explode. Show this off, let me throw that down. Let me switch into, whoops, into uh, survival. And if I walk over this pressure plate, instantly, bam! That is an instant landmine. I thought that you guys would enjoy uh, an instant landmine. Uh, normally, if you walk over something that's full of TNT, you'll hear that and it'll take forever for the TNT to explode. Uh, but this one was pretty instant, and you can see that it dealed, dealt a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, that poor little sheep, he's never gonna get out of there. So how do we make this? Well, it's pretty simple. You need these items. You need a dispenser, a rail, a TNT minecart, which you can get, in, which you can, uh, get by putting a minecart and a piece of TNT into your crafting table, uh, a pressure plate, uh, a flint and steel, and then some dirt and some TNT. So let me get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. Uh, I don't need uh, so much, <laughs> so much TNT, but uh, let's put these guys down. So what you're gonna start off with is, uh, to get that size of a hole, uh, start off with a three by three hole, and this is also going to be three deep as well. Next, once you have this, place in the center here uh, something down, just a piece of dirt, it could be any block, then place a rail on top of that, then take your TNT minecart and place it on top of that. Then you're going to break the block beneath it, causing the TNT minecart to fall down and not be attached to the rail. If you don't bump this TNT minecart anymore, otherwise it won't be perfectly positioned. Go ahead and dig down one, take any type of block, in fact it can be TNT, place it there. Then you're going to grab, you can place it on any wall. You're gonna grab the dispenser, which we needed, and we will put that on this block, and it should face down. There you go, so it's facing down, it's not facing to the side. Inside of this dispenser, we're going to take some flint and steel and put it in. When this gets activated, the flint and steel will burn the block below it, which is this TNT minecart. Then we fill the rest of the space with TNT and we evacuate, just like this. Uh, on the top layer, you are going to put whatever block uh, is, whoops, looks like that TNT minecart may have shifted just a bit. Uh, I think that'll be fine. On the top here, you're going to camouflage what you have done with either dirt or grass if you have a silk touch pick. Put that all down just like that. And then in the center, you'll put your pressure plate, which will activate the dispenser. Now, if you step over it, bam! instantaneous explosion, uh, an instantaneous landmine. Quite a cool thing, and there's enough TNT in there to definitely kill someone. And of course, you can mess around with the amount of TNT that you use. Make it more, make it less, it's your choice. Yep. If you would like even more tips, you can check out the wiki. It has tons and tons of tips. There are even more elaborate or complicated setups and specific things that might suit your needs. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you want to help support the show? Do you shop on Amazon? Well, you can easily support OMG Craft 
with your Amazon purchases by clicking through the Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon. Anything you purchase will go help our show. The price doesn't change at all, but we get a little bit of the revenue. That's twit.tv slash Amazon. Click on the banner on the side of the page, and we thank you for supporting our show. If you'd like to send us tips, tricks, feedback, anything, mail at omgcraft.com. If you want to follow my personal channel, that's at youtube.com slash omgchad, where I do Let's Plays and vlogs. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to get even more tips and tricks in Minecraft at youtube.com slash omgcraft. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Hey.